establish my prominence. I fought for years for this war. I know what it's like. The Dermond Priory is a bastion of history, containing the collected wisdom of the ages. For 200 years, we've stood upon a foundation of lore, research, and exploration. When Lion's Arch was flooded by the rise of the Nation of Ore, our forebearers rescued the city's survivors. We salvaged knowledge that would otherwise have been lost. Now as the dragons ravage ever greater expanses of Tyria, we must do even more. We must discover the truths that Tyria needs to survive. Where the dragons came from, why, and how to end their threat. The Priory is dedicated to learning. Siren. One of our most cunning scholars will provide tutelage to help you gain wisdom that you will need. Dermond, our founder, said it best. Your power is only equal to the sum of your knowledge. If that's true, then we're Tyria's best hope to survive the darkness gathering on the horizon. Welcome to the Dermond Priory. Ah, oh, here you are. You must be the new novice I was sent to retrieve. I'm a Magister of the Order, but we don't need to use titles. Just call me Siren. Happy to meet you. I'm looking forward to working with the Dermond Priory. It's nice to see that you're enthusiastic. I know I'm supposed to take you straight back to the Priory, but I'd like to take a little side trip. While I was waiting for you, Explorer Kecht was telling me this really interesting story about an old dwarven tomb. And guess what? It's right on our way. I'll still take you to meet Stuart Gix at the main Priory building, but I want to have a bit of fun first. Magister Siren, you're not listening to me. We don't even know if the story is true. What if this tomb doesn't even exist? What if it's just a legend? Oh, Kept, stop being a spoil sport. If I ignore this, those skulky dredge might find the tomb first. And how would that turn out? They'd destroy it. Come on. It won't hurt anything to go look around a bit. The novice doesn't mind, right? Exploring an ancient tomb on my first day in the Order? Sounds fun. I don't mind at all. Then it's settled. I'll meet you at Molent Summit, novice. Don't keep me waiting, okay?
way to explore this place. Ice fortifies. Ice protects. Look at these glorious snow-dusted mountains. I love the Shiver Peaks. They're so magnificent. Can you believe the ancient dwarves thought this was a good place for a tomb? It feels so alive. Such a strange choice. It's beautiful, but I'll admit I don't know much about dwarves. What's so interesting about this tomb? The dwarves are almost extinct, but in their time they knew a lot about the dragons. The Priory studies dwarven tombs to learn as much as we can. This tomb's completely unexplored. If there hadn't been a little earthquake, it would have stayed buried beneath rocks and ice. Keck's old scroll said this was the tomb of a dwarven prince. It might have... Uh-oh. Look at those dig marks. Dredge. Shoots and thorns. I knew the dredge would find this place. That's why I wanted to come right away. See, the dredge were once enslaved by dwarves. They'll destroy anything dwarven. Once this cave opened up, they probably flocked here like jackdaws to a bone. Then we'd better hurry. Hey, do you hear that? Saren, watch out!
writing on this is certainly dwarven. Keep searching. Maybe we can find more. of this too. What can you tell us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come, let's show them the meaning of buried and forgotten. Not much of a conversation, Mr. Z. That talking tree's gone crazy. Get it off me. I'll tell you anything. Just let me go. This talking tree'll tear your limbs off, buddy. Is this all you found in the tomb, or did your people destroy some of the relics? Those relics are nothing compared to... We, we tried to shatter it, but we couldn't. It was too powerful. Nothing could harm it. Destroy what? Another relic? One like these? Junk! No, no. It was a sword. We sent it to the southern ruins, hoping to find some way to destroy it. Death to the dwarves! A sword? Hmm. Maybe the writing on these relics will tell us more. I bet Gix can translate it. Let's head back to the Priory and ask him. Tree? That's the best he had. I'm more insulted by his lack of imagination.
about Stuart Giggs. I'll handle him. He'll be mad for all of 3.5 seconds. Magister Siren, yet again you neglect your duty to go on an adventure. You're completely out of control, you blasted weed. You're very lucky my expedition team needed your help to get out of there. I'm going to go easy on you. This time. But if I ever find out that you ever risk another novice's life on one of your little curiosities, I'll prune your ears. Mark my words. Ah, our newcomer. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Siren is something of a firecracker. The novice did very well, Stuart. Don't fuss. Look, we even recovered these unusual artifacts. Won't you translate the writing for us, Gix? Don't wheedle me, you leaf-addle reprobate. Why I tolerate him... Oh, oh my goodness. Th this is fascinating. Tell me, was anything missing from the cave? Yes, the dredge had taken a weapon from the cave. That's a wonderful guess. Guess something else, Gix. This is fun. By the cogs of creation, they took the sanguinary blade. It's a legendary sword made of frozen blood. The weapon was lost when the stone summer dwarves vanished. A sword made of blood? What kind of blood could possibly be made into a weapon? The worst kind. Dragon blood. Magister, novice, you must find that blade and bring it safely to the Priory. We're on it, sir. You can count on us. That's amazing. The prince's name was... Dagnar Stonepaid, apparently, and he was tremendously famous. Famous then? Dead today. He's nothing but a bone orchard now. Look at this place. It must be tremendously old. Centuries, even. Older than that. The Dwarven civilization lasted for more than 2,000 years, and this might be one of their first structures. It's so sad that the Dwarves all turned to stone and went to fight the dragons. Sad, but brave. The Dredge brought the sword here to find a way to destroy it. We'd better hurry, before they succeed. You're absolutely right. First, we have to cross that windy bridge. I can use my magic to fly, but you'll have to foot it. Those flags and the torches flutter when the wind rises, so watch them carefully. Use the walls for cover. Keep your footing, go as fast as you can, and don't worry, it'll be chilly.
If you ask me, both dwarves and Asura have some serious issues. I know these symbols from my prior training. This is the tomb of Dagnar Stonepate of the Stone Summit Dwarves. Dagnar killed a human prince named Rurik, destroying the peace between the kingdoms of Kryta and Ascalon. That apparition must be the ghost of Dagnar's Drake Mount. I don't think it's noticed us. Ignore it and find a way to get up to that ledge. You never learned that trick. Huh. Well, looks like you'll have to climb. I think I see a path to the top. I'll mark it for you. Follow the trail of sparks. can try and open a portal for you. This might explode. You did great! I knew you could do it! Stieg Frostbeard. I've heard of him. He's a son of Svanir. They're dragon cultists, and, and Stieg is a mean one. If he's got the sword, it'll be nothing but trouble. Did you see what happened when the blade cut his friend? It turned that Norn into a monster. I saw. That looked like dragon corruption to me. I guess the sanguinary blade really is made of dragon's blood. Gix was right. That's bad news for us, too. That sword will corrupt anyone that holds on to it for too long. Before we retrieve it for the Derman Priory, we'd better find a way to protect ourselves from the corruption. What about the sword's original scabbard? The dwarves must have made it strong enough to contain the blade. True. But how do we find that scabbard? It might be easier to create something of our own, using Priory knowledge. Give it a rumble in your brain, and let me know when you've made a choice.
at maximum. This place is creepy. Why are we here again? That statue of Grenth has been leaking magic. I couldn't think of anything else that matches the power of the Sanguinary Blade. We'll take some shavings from the statue. If we can build a containment vessel to hold those safely, it should be able to suppress the sword. First, the fragments. Then we hurry to the Priory and work on a vessel. Ready? What? You're not scared, are you? It's just a spooky tunnel. That's... Collapsing. This place is amazing. I wonder what it was for. Noisy Norn is back. Would someone shut him up?
I borrowed some artifacts from the Priory Vault and rigged this together. It looks totally cherry. I'm sure it'll work fine. Actually, Saren, it looks horribly dangerous. Won't someone notice those things went missing? Oh, honestly, these have been gathering dust in the vault for years. Nobody wants them, so who'll care? I got a jadeite rune of holding, then modified it and wove the whole thing onto a shadow shard. Now, all the enchantments are merged. When the sanguinary blade is put into the shadow shard, it'll technically be off this plane of existence. The sword won't be able to corrupt anything. But, um... There's one problem. I need to tune the enchantments to work together instead of tearing themselves apart, or it could collapse the mountain. Wait, what? Collapse the... Saren? No, 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 no. It'll work, I promise. While I'm doing that, though, things could get exciting, so keep your weapon out. The things you call exciting are what most people would call reckless endangerment. Oh, come on, novice. Cheer up. The worst that could happen is that we're lost forever in shadow, but more likely we'll just have to mop up some shades. <laughs> Here goes. Getting help. I'll let you know when the containment unit is ready to activate. The magical leakage seems to be coming from... Siren, novice, what are you two doing? Give me that thing. I'll stop this. This thing is so cross-enchanted, it could power a spurious logic golem. But the theorems all made sense. Exactly. You can't apply sense with technology. You two, defend me while I desensify this mess. Let's do this. Let's thing. get this over with. Success! The shades are gone, and the containment field seems to be working. I should have known the magical transfluctuation was your doing, Siren. Inexcusable. What is this patchwork drivel you've created? You put a... with a... By the alchemy! Brilliant! Insane, but absolutely ingenious! You think like an Asura, you womp-leaved lunatic, but you don't take proper precautions. If I hadn't come along when I did... I'm sorry, Stuart Gix. I thought... I mean, we needed to contain the sword, and nobody wanted this stuff. If this wasn't such an innovative creation, I'd toss you out on your twigs. As it is, you're both on probation. No argument. Priory anarchists have scried Steed Frostbeard's location. 
He's hiding in an encampment near Black Barrel's mill. Get out of here, and take this mad contraption with you. If you foul this up, I'll throw you to the termites, you pernicious metal brain. Now, what's next? Hello there, Norn. We're here from the Derman Priory, and your friend Steeg has something that belongs to us. We're just here for Frostbeard. Bring us the sword he carries, and we won't hurt you. Pathetic little bookworms. Steeg Frostbeard is mighty. He will attack Lion's Arch, and we will show you all Dragon's power. Steeg's blood sword is a holy relic of the dragon, Jorman. The dragon blesses Stieg for his faithful service. He will lead us to victory! It's not too late. Please, think about what you're doing. The dragon may give you power, but in exchange, he's made you slaves. Abandoned dragon in his time of triumph? <laughs> Why would we do that? Lion's Arch is filled with innocent people. You can't do this. They aren't listening, novice. Time to switch to plan B. Go get them!
Thanks. Well done, novice. The Sanguinary Blade is ours, and Lion's Arch is safe from Stieg Frostbeard. It's hard to believe that Stieg was willing to see all his Norn friends die just to keep the power of the Sanguinary Blade. That's not hard for me to believe at all, novice. It's typical of the idiots who serve Elder Dragons. The dragons are a blight. They don't care about anything but their hunger. Their followers are just... bad. Even if we find a way to save the world from the dragons, I sometimes wonder if we'll ever find a way to save us from ourselves. When Gix told me I was going to be mentoring a new novice, I thought it would be an incredibly boring task. But you know what? I really like you. You're willing to try new things, and... you've got a good head on your shoulders. Thanks, Siren. I have to admit, this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Cherry! Come on, let's get the sword back to Gix. After that, we'll work on saving the world. At last, the Sanguinary Blade. I shudder to think of the damage it would have wrought without your aid. You've both done well. Consider yourselves off probation. Further, novice, I hereby promote you to the rank of Explorer, with all the rights and privileges, etc., etc. I'd like you to continue your partnership with Siren. Perhaps you can keep this deciduous do-gooder out of trouble. Thank you, Stuart Gix. I'd be happy to collaborate with Siren. We work well together. Poor Gix. You're just jealous that you're stuck in here being leadery and responsible while we're having all the fun. Yes, yes. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Be that as it may, I must rely on you two for another project. Your next endeavor is a research assignment involving one of the lesser races of Tyria. Do try not to teach them bad habits, Siren. Hmm? Explorer, get a briefing from Siren, and choose which species you'd like to study. Now, go. <laughs> <laughs> 